my God, ladies and gentlemen, lose your minds for the one and only Lawrence Moody. <laughs> Okay, folks, uh, let's rip into it. Um, I'm the youngest of three, and those sibling rivalries stay in place forever, okay? The oldest is born of anxious parents, and the moment they're born, they are loaded with expectations and responsibilities. Oldest in the audience, just show your hands to me. Where are you? Oldest in the audience, look at you. A little bit responsible, just a little bit. Hey, mate, we don't need you to bring attention to us. We're okay. We're doing fine. Uh, we're in middle management. I work for the... I'm a teacher. And you're good. You're good people. And I've got to say that you've, you've weathered the responsibility of parental expectation and uh, you're a little bit annoying, OK? So just fucking relax. Your job is done. And then there's the middle child that is the baby for a while and then the baby comes along and so they don't know where they, they actually live so they're in this kind of middle, middle ground between the eldest and the baby, and so they just burn a path out to the left. They're mercurial, they're charismatic, they are batshit crazy. Every middle child <laughs> is just crazy. Middle children in the world, give us a look at you. Where are you? Look at you, some of you punch the air with your fist. Woo! We're over here, yeah! Haven't been sober since I was 14. I left school in year 10. I've got my own business. You want a fucking piece of this? Come on! They're good people. I mean, you can warm your hands on them, don't turn your back on them. They will end up in a tree, sculling from a bottle of vodka, naked, just going, come on! I am, of course, the baby, and uh, I did a straw poll. A lot of comedians are the youngest in the family, OK? They are the baby, because we are born with an audience, and our mother is like our tour manager. So I come on, look at him, look at him, look at look at what he's doing. No, stop what you're doing. Look at him. It's like, <laughs> we're indulged, and of course we spend too much time in the parental bed. Youngest in the family, where are you? Show me where you are. Look at us waving. We're the happiest people, aren't we? We got all the attention. The other siblings don't know, the oldest and the middle child, they don't know how good we've got it. Look at you young people. <laughs> youngest in the family is glorious. There's a couple of differences between me and my brothers. We're very similar on a load of levels, OK? Uh, we enjoy the same kind of humour. We're very gregarious. We enjoy drinking. We enjoy the same kind of politics. Although I said we're very similar, there are some differences, OK? I'm the youngest in the family. I'm left-handed. I'm the artist. And I'm circumcised, OK? <laughs> and I said to my mum, I drove around there specifically, I said, why, am I, why was I the only circumcised male in this family? And she said, it was just the fashion at the time. <laughs> the fashion. Well, like... Skivvies and polo neck jumpers weren't in that year. It's like this, where is my natty scarf and matching shoes, Mum? It was just a fashion. Look, really? So I've looked into circumcision, OK, the history of circumcision. And sure, in the mid-60s, it was the fashion. It was a hygiene thing, really. Mutilate your child's genitals to keep them clean. <laughs> So if you're not familiar with circumcision, let me run you through it, OK? <laughs> Here we go. So when I was but a few hours old, my parents gave me to a complete stranger. And he took me into a room and hacked the top of my cock off. <laughs> Let's just sit with the loneliness and brutality for a moment, shall we? So I had looked into the history of circumcision. And of course, it starts with the Abrahamic Covenant, OK? The covenant that Abraham made with God that all Jewish men must be circumcised, otherwise they can't go into the kingdom of heaven. What a, a door rule that is. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Not in those shoes. And uh, you appear to have a foreskin, so... Yeah. 
Forget about the murdering and the rape, but uh, anyone without a foreskin, come on. <laughs> Fucking what? Really? So I looked into the history of, 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 of circumcision, and sure, there's the Abrahamic covenant, and then there's uh, a lot about the nomadic laws and rituals of tribes in the Middle East. Uh, they did it as a, a rite of passage. To become a man, you had to endure the pain of circumcision, and some of our indigenous tribes do that as well. And also, there was this practical health measure that they were nomadic tribes in the desert, and so they didn't want sand to get caught. Stop laughing at this. <laughs> like you've got a foreskin. Uh, so they didn't want sand to get caught under the foreskin to give men a problem, OK? Now, I say to the nomadic tribes of the Middle East, fuck you, OK? Because I've been to the beach and sand sticks to my knob like iron filings to a magnet, all right? I, I go to the beach and boom, there's sand on my knob. I don't even have to go to the beach. I'm down Beaconsfield Parade, boom, I've got sand on my knob. I almost wish there was some protective covering, some kind of, I don't know, foreskin that stops sand attaching itself to my knob and genital area, all right? It's like a chock top being dipped in nuts. It's like full coverage, you got sand all over your knob. Boom! But is there an upside I hear you ask? Sure, there must be an upside. And this is just a theory, but I think I'm probably better at sex than both of my brothers. Now, it can't be tested unless you've had sex with all three of us. Oh, please don't come forward. Um, I don't need to know the result of that. But seriously, there must be an upside, and I think there is, and that is I must be able to last longer than my brothers, all right? Because my knob has been rubbing against my undies for 50 years, <laughs> and it is dead to the touch, all right? It is, no, seriously. You could hit it with a hammer, I wouldn't bat an eyelid, seriously. I can bang you for two hours, like, here we go! Nothing! <laughs> no, I don't even know what that is. That's some kind of lever I've invented. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So that's an upside. <laughs> hey, you've been awesome. Thank you very much. See ya!